When it comes to eating in Louisiana, seafood is undoubtedly what most people think of first. That's why getting access to fresh seafood daily is vital to keeping our culture and industries alive. Twyla's Neil Malonson went to the Louisiana Fisheries Summit to see how a new technique for keeping shrimp fresh is helping to keep shrimpers in business. You know what they say, a bad day's fishing is better than a good day at the office. Well, it always seems like a good day for fishing in Louisiana, and this fishery summit at the Pontchartrain Center is working to help keep it that way. To that end, LSU researcher Julie Lively has been working on better ways to help keep shrimp fresh. The black spot is just, you can see it, you know, here, the shrimp turning black when they're swimming. Lively says black spot has been a constant problem, not so much because it affects the shrimp as much as it affects consumer preference. A new method of controlling black spot aims to move away from sulfite dip, which some consumers are allergic to. So we're trying to help the fishermen all get a better price for their product so that the product can be a better quality, separate out from the import, and be able to help our fishermen thrive in the future. Of course, shrimp isn't the only feature at the fishery summit. It deals with almost every aspect of the industry, from boats to rods and reels. Seminars at the summit are designed to help keep farmers and fishermen better better managing their operations. It's all part of an effort to help keep this part of agriculture that has such a connection to another big industry in the state, tourism. Now they've got a drilling rig, a jackup rig at Britain Sound. You can go live like you're living offshore on an oil rig and catch some fish. Those are things you can't do anywhere else in the world. So working with our farmers, our fishermen, and trying to come up with unique, unique ways for them to, to add some money to, to, to their pot, and create a new opportunity for tourism. Wildlife and fisheries just reopened the offshore shrimping season this past week. The inshore season will be decided at their upcoming May 3rd meeting. And guys, if you look at the shrimp back here, that's what shrimp normally look like when you bring them out, when you yep. harvest them. Mm -hmm. That pink color is developed. And that, you know, that's really the issue there that so uh, that we're facing so much in many of these industries is the sort of, you know, uh, post-production look to it, that flavor. You know, hot dogs, for instance, are mm -hmm. gray and they have to be colored to the, the color that we're normally Yeah, Yeah, know, I would to. not. No, many no. people would not eat a gray <laughs> hot dog. Well, most people wouldn't eat gray shrimp. They want to see that pink color. And so this, this black spot issue and the, you know, the uses of sulfides mm -hmm. or these other compounds is, is a really big deal because it is a lot of value add to uh, this product. But so much has really changed in the shrimping industry just in the last 10 years oh, yeah. or so. You know, mm -hmm. I remember going out to Sippermore Point and watching the shrimp boat come in and folks selling their catch. Now they're able to freeze it mm -hmm. right there on the boat, which is with those plate freezers. It's absolutely amazing how the industry is changing. Yeah, and you could see those technologies and so much more. I mean, it touches on so many aspects there at the Pontchartrain Center. You saw all that on display. And so, you know, we, uh, you know, it's it's a really vital industry regardless of how they bring it in. And so it's something uh, I think we need to cover more. Well, it's a really interesting story, and thanks for bringing it to us, Neil Malasson.